Hi guys, welcome again. Uh, it's Max from the Max Creation. Uh, in today's video, we want to look at what constitutes what we call the working hours. Most of you, you've been to these companies or you've been to these jobs, but exactly, you don't know when your working hours start or when your working hours stop. We found ourselves in these scenarios having fights with either the supervisor or even your supervisor may not know exactly what is your working hour. But for you to clearly understand what is your working hours, we are going to relate it to what we call the Article 73 of the Labor Law. And what does the Article 73 of the Labor Law say in Qatar here? The article says that the time spent from you moving from your accommodation to your area of work and you moving from your area of work back to your accommodation is not included as part of what you call the working hours. Hope I've tried to share it rightly, right today. So, the time you spend from moving from your accommodation and back to your accommodation is not what you call working hours, according to the Article 73 of the Labor That is why to some situations that you find that it becomes very hard for us to calculate what we call our overtime. Because we do not know this, that this time between is not calculated as overtime, is not calculated as working hours, and we've ended up complaining or even refusing to go to work because we are not aware of what constitutes part of our working hours. However, something that you definitely need to know, as you reach your area of work, the time you spend in between that, that will include the prayer intervals. That will include the rest time between. That will include the break time that you have is part of what you call your working hours. Let's say, for example, this is a location that you have, or this is where you work, and they are working, what you call, your working hours are eight. But as per the location, they are giving you two hours break. Yes, that is part of the working hours. So when you add them together, it's eight hours. You've already worked eight hours. So hope I'm trying to share something for you. Definitely, you know, that if you are delayed by the bus on the way, or if, let's say, transportation gets a problem on the way, it's never calculated as what you call working hours. That is according to the article 73 of the Labor Law. Hope I've tried to share something for you. For that person who asked for that question, definitely now you know what constitutes your working hours and what you should not include as what you call your working hours. Thank you so much. See you again in the next video. By the way, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Let us try to share this information. It's not all about we, we just need to share the information for the newcomers that will come to know exactly what to claim for or what not to claim for and how better they can take themselves. Thank you so much for their support. See you again in another.